8 standard cycles had simplified approximations and therefore performance estimate of engine is greater than actual performance. For example, with a compression ratio of 7 is to 1, the actual indicated thermal efficiency of an SI engine is of the order of 30%, while the ideal or air standard efficiency is about 55%. This divergence is partly due to non-instantaneous non burning, incomplete combustion, valve operation, etc. However, the main reason lies with the oversimplification of using values of properties of the working fluid. Let us compare ideal case versus actual case. Ideal case. In ideal case, working fluid is air and air is considered to be perfect gas, has constant specific heats. In actual case, working fluid is air plus fuel plus residual gas and specific heats increases with increase in temperature. And also, combustion products are subjected to dissociation at higher temperature. Fuel cycle considerations. Actual composition of cylinder gas, fuel plus air plus water plus vapor in air plus residual gas. Fuel air ratio change during operation and hence amount of water vapor carbon dioxide changes. Specific heat changes with temperature except for monoatomic gases and hence ratio of specific heat K also changes. Number of molecules in cylinder changes with changes in temperature. Fuel air cycle assumptions. There is no chemical change in either fuel or air prior to combustion. There is no heat transfer between the gases and cylinder walls in any process that is a, an adiabatic process. Compression and expansion process are frictionless. Air standard analysis shows how the efficiency is improved by raising the compression ratio of air it does not give any idea of on the effect of fuel air ratio on thermal efficiency. Fuel air cycles allows study of fuel air ratio on thermal efficiency and also allows study of maximum pressure and maximum temperature as a fuel air ratio is changed. This helps in structural design of the engine and also gives a good estimate of the power expected from the actual engine. Let us see how specific heats change with temperature. The increase in specific heats with increase in temperature does not obey any law. Over the temperature in general use for gases in heat engines 300 Kelvin to 1500 Kelvin, the specific heat curve is nearly a straight line and can be expressed as Cp is equal to A1 plus K1T and Cv is equal to B1 plus K1 into T and R is equal to Cp minus Cv that is equal to A1 minus B1. Above 1500 Kelvin, the relations are Cp is equal to A1 plus K1T plus K2T square. Cv is equal to B1 plus K1T plus K2T square. When the temperature is raised, larger and larger fractions of heat input go to produce the motion of atoms within the molecules. As the temperature is an indication of motion of molecules as a whole therefore the energy that goes into motion of atoms does not contribute to the temperature rise therefore the variation of specific heats leads the final temperature and pressure to lower values as compared to constant specific heats next let us see what is dissociation loss disintegration of combustion products at higher temperature during dissociation heat is absorbed whereas during combustion heat is liberated. Presence of carbon monoxide and oxygen in the gases tend to prevent the dissociation of carbon dioxide. In rich mixture which by producing more carbon monoxide suppresses the dissociation of carbon dioxide. That means there is no dissociation in the burnt gases of a lean mixture because the temperature produced is too low for the phenomenon to occur. Lean mixture. No dissociation takes place due to low temperature. Maximum dissociation. Chemically correct mixture when the temperature is high. And for the rich mixture, dissociation is prevented by the available carbon monoxide and oxygen. Further, heat transfer to cooling medium causes a reduction in maximum temperature and pressure. As the temperature falls during the expansion stroke, the separate constituents recombine and heat absorbed gets released but it becomes too late to recover. 
the curve shows the reduction in exhaust gas temperature due to dissociation with respect to air fuel ratio effect of dissociation on power power output is maximum at stoichiometric ratio where there is no dissociation shaded area represents loss of power due to dissociation let us see effect of operating variables compression ratio for a given equivalence ratio phi the efficiency of fuel air cycle increases with compression ratio r in a similar manner as that of a air standard cycle at the same compression ratio efficiency of fuel air cycle decreases with increasing phi effect of equivalence ratio on temperature at a given compression ratio r maximum temperature is attained when the mixture is slightly rich about 6 to 8 percentage this is because at phi is equal to 1 there is still some oxygen present at 0.3 because of chemical equilibrium and a rich mixture will cause more fuel to combine with oxygen at that point thereby rising the temperature at 0.3 however at rich mixture formation of carbon monoxide counteracts this effect effect of equivalence ratio on pressure pressure of a gas in a given space depends upon its temperature and number of molecule the pressure curve follows temperature curve but because of increase in number of molecules pressure starts decreasing when the mixture is about 8 into 20 percentage rich